Dr. Nuremberg's Mind-Body Workout System. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My dear brothers and sisters, it's an honor to be here with you. My name is Dr. Arnold Nuremberg. When I was 65 years old, I took the title of Strongest Man in the World for My Age and Weight, and that's when I had prostate cancer. I've been cancer-free, been setting world records ever since. I set a world record uh, about six weeks ago on a power shrug, shrugging 480 pounds. When I was 67 years old, I did a power pull-up with 125 pounds hanging from a chain belt. Uh, I'm near 70 now. Uh, I have the world record when I was 65 doing a 365-pound bench press. And I hold a, a world record on a T-bar strongman pull of 270 pounds. Now, a lot of this has to do with the discipline of working out, diet, nutrition. But as every one of you know, it's a lot mental. I developed a whole technology that I taught to the United States Army on Dr. Nuremberg's mind-body workout system to enhance combat readiness and to help prevent post-traumatic stress disorder. I want to thank uh, Dr. Barlow for uh, arranging for this to happen as part of one of her classes. I'm dedicating this feat of strength to my nephew, Samson. Now, the standard powerlifting moves are bench press, squat, and deadlift. A truck pull is not written up anyway. You can't read articles about it. You don't see, it's not in the magazines. So I call it a truck snap. I'm just going to pull and have it move forward. The power thought that I use to psych myself into it, you're going to see me take three deep breaths. And with each breath, I go, I can, I will. And another one, I can, I will. Then the third one, I go, I can, I will, now. And once I go now, I'm committed. Boom, whatever happens, happens, I'm doing it. So that's the system in terms of one of what I call one of the warrior's power thoughts. The other power thoughts for the warriors include I take full responsibility, no excuses. And the other is I gain great power from hardship and I'm grateful. So as athletes, we bring hardship to ourselves. We don't wait for hardship to come to us. We bring it to ourselves. We actually cause constructive muscle injuries. We injure our muscles so they get bigger and stronger. So without further ado, I'm going to be sitting over here when you see people pulling trains and planes whenever they've got their bodies and they're pulling like that, I'm going to be sitting on the ground just using my legs and back and snap it, snap the truck towards me. I'm going to start with a short chain. So we need is say 12 people to hit the guys in first. Get some weight. How we're in a position, yeah, I don't know yet. Maybe you can feel, jump on in. Where's the camera going to do it? They're going to shoot from there? They're going to shoot from the side, so they'll face you. They'll face you. I'm going to set my legs up here on the bar. Hey, Jordan. What's going on? And what I'm going to do, do my deep breathing. You can uh, let go of the brake, Rich. So I did three deep breaths. I can, I will. I can, I will. I can, I will, now. Now I'm committed and I go. Now, people say you have to believe to achieve. It's not completely true. You only have to believe for a fraction of a second. If you have the faith for just a fraction of a second, and the confidence here for just that, it'll all, it'll all happen. You just have to believe in it for a fraction of a second. You can walk up and think, oh my God, there's no way I can do this. 
you can feel miserable, say, I'm, I didn't to sleep, I'm weak, situation's not right. You can be get, going through all those messages. It's not a problem. But once you go into your power thought and you go, I can, I will, now, that now is a trigger, all out, total commitment. No, no holding back. And you just have to believe for that one fraction of a second and all the negativity is, was for naught. So I just want you to know that when you're doing anything in life, that's how it works. You just have to believe for a moment and it'll happen. So we're gonna load up some more. 17. All right, 17. Cindy Loza, 120. Brenda Thompson, 120. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kelly Mia here, 123. <laughs> Natalie Sorania, 110. Austin, 215. Jonathan Palomino, 170. Yeah, name and weight. Keith, 210. Oh. Riley, 200 pounds. Joey, 270. Tyler at 190. Carson, 250. Woo. Zach, 230. <laughs> Kevin Hartso, 160. Where's Ryan? Richard Rainwater, 160 pounds. So I demonstrated was a physical feat of strength. And keep in mind, I, I, I've never done it before. So I stepped into an unknown. There's not like magazines and articles on how to do this kind of a rig. But the, I had a lot of confidence both in my physical strength, but also my mental power and focus. And the, the thought I use, I can, I will, now. Uh, sometimes I use that grunt or scream to just add to my power. A lot of times, most times I don't. So the mental power, any form of sport is essential. So the mind-body workout system has 22 factors to strengthen the thought process. I just gave you one power thought. I'll give you an example of one kind of, a, of the 22 factors. For example, let's say a coach says to you, your problem is you don't believe in yourself. You gotta tell yourself you can do it. You say, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Now, you can get a reaction to that. You can think, gee, I'm, I know I can't do it. That's why I'm trying to psych myself into saying I can do it. So you get a negative reaction to the thought if your coach doesn't understand the system. So one of the factors is what I call the shield penetrator. It goes like this. Even with my uncertainties, I can do it and I will do it. Even with my uncertainties, I can do it and I will do it. Even with my uncertainties, is a shield penetrator so you don't get a negative reaction to the thought. What we found empirically is after a few weeks, you don't need the shield penetrator. You can just say, I can do it. But initially you need it so you don't get any, uh, a reaction to it. So that's just part of the whole mind-body workout system. This was just a little tip of the iceberg. Really honored to be here with you. Appreciated deeply your participation, uh, your enthusiasm. Uh, my wife thinks I'm crazy. She thinks I get crazier the older I get. <laughs> and she's right, but I hope I'm doing some good with it. Thank you. <laughs>